HDRI Flow is a handy add-on that allows you to light up your scene with the click of a button. You can navigate through the presets and apply the HDRI to your scene. You can rotate, scale, control the emission strength and customize your lighting setup from the color correction section. Lighting is as important as modeling and texturing and with HDRI flow you can quickly light up your scene with high resolution HDRIs achieving soft shadows, rich colors and realistic lighting sets. HDRI Flow comes with 20 presets that you can replace with your own personal HDRIs. Simply open the library and replace the presets with your own HDRI collection. Now let's take a look at the easy installation process and the quick walkthrough. When you download HDRI Flow, you will be mainly interested in these two files, which is the actual add-on and the library that contains all the presets that we're going to load into the add-on. So let's start by installing the add-on in Blender by going on Edit, Preferences, Install, and then clicking on HDRI Flow Zip and Install Add-on. We activate the add-on by clicking on the square, and then at this point we have to load the library. Uh, we can do so by clicking on the folder icon, and then from the main folder, select HDRI Flow Library and accept. Okay, now the add-on has been installed and we also have the library path set. The library is the blend file from where the add-on pulls all the presets. So we wanna make sure that the library path is set to HDRI Flow Library .blend. At this point, we can save preferences and from the end panel, we can see the HDRI Flow add-on. So by default, this is what you're going to see when you load uh, HDRI Flow for the first time. It's set to Word 0, which is basically your default word into Blender. Uh, this is pretty useful when you start browsing between presets and then you want to go back to your default world. To load the first preset, go to Next and then you see that World 1 appears and then Set World will load the preset and you have the HDRI loaded into your scene. And here you can see the preset loaded into the node editor. By going on next, you will see word 2 and then set word and it will automatically load the new preset and so on with all the uh, presets already loaded uh, into the add-on. So we have 20 worlds loaded into the add-on and they're all HDRIs from HDRI Heaven. You can use them or you can load your own HDRIs by uh, going into the library and changing them. I'm gonna show this later. Let's just take a look at what you can do with the presets. So you can change the strength of the HDRI emission. Then you can rotate easily with these controls. Uh, you can scale the HDRI, uh, you can I suggest you to go like with numbers so that you have an even scale. And then we have the color correction section, which allows you to change the colors of the HDRI. So let's say that you wanna uh, give a little bit more blue to this light. You can go to uh, the mix RGB, uh, go on the blue, and then increase the factor. And then you're gonna have uh, this kind of effect. So you're basically adding some blue color to the RGB mix of the HDRI. And so you can also change the saturation of the image, the brightness, uh, the contrast, and so on. And everything is gonna apply to your object. Uh, you can, of course, uh, hide what's going on around so you don't wanna see the HDRI and you can just work on your object so that you don't get distracted and just be focused on the lighting of your object. And then you can change the preset uh, and then see uh, how your object reacts to the new lights that you are applying to your scene. So you can use the lighting created by the HDRI, even not considering what's going on around, but if you wanna see uh, also the world around, you can definitely use it uh, or just make it transparent and hide it so that you don't see uh, what's going on around. The 20 presets loaded into HDRI Flow can be easily replaced with your own HDRIs. So let's see how to do that. Once you open the HDRI Flow library, you wanna navigate to Shader Editor and then World. 
Now here you can see that this is the world zero, which is the default world of Blender. If you go to world one, you can see the preset. We have the color correction section, the outputs, and then we have the color and the mapping. The only thing that you want to change is the color. So you can uh, delete what's in here and add your own HDRI. At this point, you can just save and the add-on will now pull your own HDRI once you call for world one. And you can do the same for any other preset. So by default, the add-on comes with 20 presets that we got from HDRI Heaven. And you can replace all of them with your own uh, personal HDRI collection with any resolution, with any kind of uh, HDRI you want to put inside. And the add-on will always pull world one, world two, world three, depending on the preset. Uh, we suggest not to change this name because the moment you change it, the add-on will not recognize anymore the name. So uh, don't change this name and just change the HDRI inside uh, the color node. We really hope this add-on will help your workflow when it comes to lighting. And please reach out to us for any question or special requests. We are already working on a new release that will include up to 100 presets so you have more room to accommodate your personal HDRI collection. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.